Hi everyone, if you use Google AdSense, then you most likely have received this email about turning on ad intents to avoid losing access to labs features. So the email reads, shopping links and shopping anchors labs will be closed soon and merge into auto ads as ad intent. <laughs> Google has a history of closing a lot of things and innovating basically. So it says, we are excited to announce that the shopping links and shopping anchors labs are now a permanent part of auto ads under the new name ad intent this means the labs would soon close to continue using this feature follow these steps and it says sign in to your google adsense or to your adsense click add in the table of your site click you know this button that next to your site your site will um, opens in the ad settings preview then it says under ad settings make sure that auto ads is turned on click intent driven format and turn on ad intent it then says confirm that you agree to the terms of service and policies click apply to site you can track performance of ad intent by creating a custom report adding the ad intent ad format breakdown and phone metrics what does this mean? We are making this change so that features in ad intent can continue to help drive revenue without disrupting your existing display monetization or user experience. Ad intent automatically finds and converts existing text on your page. Now, this is amazing into links or places anchors that appear at the bottom of your page based on your content and what your users may be interested in this helps show high relevant ads that don't rely on third-party cookies adsense will automatically generate ad intent for you here is an example of ad intent in action so i've actually seen this before whereby you are trying to um, you know browse something on a website and then you see something where you'll be able to scroll up and then you see more information about products or services that people are advertising so to turn it on you're just going to log into your um you know it says here sign into your adsense so i would go to my google adsense and then once you are in your google adsense what you need to do is go to ads all right so click on this particular ad so once i go to add then you see this icon right click on edit so once you click on edit, you see that it says here that you should ensure that this auto ads is turned on. So for me, my auto ad has been turned on for ages. <laughs> and then so here is the new one. So click on intent driven format. You click on it and then click on this, right, to show that you allow it. So it says agree to add sense for search terms of services and policies. Yeah, I click on I acknowledge. So if you want to exclude pages where you don't want that ad intent to show, this is where you want to do it. For example, let's say you want to exclude. I have already excluded some pages. Okay. So if you want to exclude a page, just click on add exclusion. Maybe for example, your home page, you don't want ad to run there or there are certain pages you don't want ad to run there. You can do that. So for me, I've already done that. So I'll click on this again, allow ad intent. So once you check this and you agree to the terms, um, everything will be done for you. So you don't need to do anything after this. Once you're done, just click on apply to site. And it says you won't need to edit your code to apply these changes. Apply now or run experiment firm. I prefer to just, you know, apply now. S click on save and that's all. So I hope this video helps you to turn on your um, ad intent settings. If you have any question regarding Google AdSense, um, drop it in the comment section and I'll be so happy to help you further. Bye.